Hello everyone, Ben here again with another tutorial. We've learned a lot about colors lately, but here's how you can put theory into practice. So I've prepared my sketch that I'm going to color in. This exercise is like a coloring book, but with vectors. And I want to do two variations here, hence the two artboards. Let's start with the first. All the shapes you see here are closed. It's the easiest way to demo this for you guys because I can simply change the fill color from white to any color that I want. For the first alternative, I have a color palette prepared already. Here it is. I chose two cool colors and two warm colors to create balance, plus an off-white color paired with an off-black color for the accents and background. Less is more. First, I filled in the five with this bright red. It's the first color I picked because I really wanted my design to pop. Then I've chosen a dark navy for the shadows. This is a very flat illustration, so I won't apply any blend modes to the shadows. I want to keep them sharp and crisp. Then I colored the stars with an off-white shade. Very tame. But let's balance that out. So let's make the stroke an electric blue color for that extra touch of contrast. Now the navy shadows make a lot more sense. For the 3D effect, I have one color left, which is this pink here. Let's see how that works. Mm, okay, not quite what I envisioned. So let's make a few changes. Let's make the 3D shape red while we keep all these dynamic lines pink. And then let's change the main color of our five to blue. Not the icy blue, but the electric blue. Much better. But now I feel like adding this icy blue color into my composition as well. There we go. Let's place our stars at the very top. And now for the background, I'll choose my navy shade for extra contrast. But I feel like I want it to be even darker. All right, amazing. Here's one version of this illustration done. Let's move on to the next using a brand new color palette. I just want to show you guys the powerful effect that colors can have. I've got no plan for this one, so let's see what we can achieve together. First, let's move these stars up to the very top. Then I'm starting with my biggest shape so I can get the tone of my palette down. It's like the first note of a symphony. I like this green color a lot. It's very foresty, very soothing. Let's turn the stroke on. This navy is a definite no-go because it's just not contrasting enough. So let's go into the yellows here and give it more saturation. Adding more red to it makes it even warmer and that looks great. Okay, we're off to a great start. Since I've picked such warm tones so far, I wanna change the temperature. So I'll give the 3D effect here an electric blue tone. This hails back to my previous design actually. Sometimes it can be hard to remove yourself from something you've already made. Okay, now for these shapes here, I'll go for yellow again, but in a cooler shade and much more desaturated. Let's make the stars an icy blue, and for the background I'm feeling... let's do purple. Hmm, okay, not quite there yet. Let's start off by changing this yellow. And I've also changed my mind about my main color here. Let's go more into blues. This one looks better. But now the background needs to change, I think. Darker for sure, and a little more towards this fuchsia tone. The shadows will give us some much needed contrast. So let's start from our previous off black color and bring it closer to turquoise. At this point, I feel that my two yellows are too close to each other. So let's adjust this one. We're definitely getting there. The obvious thing that needs to change now is the 3D effect, which I'll color in navy, but I'll darken it a bit. We have a lot of brightness coming from all of our other colors, so don't overdo it here. Okay, I think we're almost done. So it's about time we checked our contrast by turning everything into grayscale. As we learned in the previous episode, you can select everything and then go to the Effect tab, the last tab in the color picker, and click here on Desaturate. This way, I'm able to see that the stroke and dynamic lines are not contrasting enough with one another. Since I'm making a change, let's make it big. I'm going to go all the way to the other side of the color slider and start playing around with some pink colors. Be mindful though, you don't need to change the hue to adjust the contrast. You change the contrast of your color by moving your color closer or further away from white or black. Alright, now I'm happy. Here are the two versions of the same illustration side by side. It just goes to show how much impact a color palette can have on the mood and intention of an artwork. 
Do you want it to be loud and playful or somber? Color plays a lead role in the way that your design comes across. I hope you enjoyed this Academy Practice episode. Stay tuned for more. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and click on another tutorial to keep learning.